have been seven different eras across the WWE over the course of history. So today in WWE 2K23, I will be going back in time to all seven eras to hit a finisher and win a match with the greatest superstar from every respective era. These seven eras will be taking place once again in this video. And who else would start it off for the golden era besides Hulkamania Hulk? Hogan. And it's going to start to feel like WrestleMania 3 here with Andre the Giant. And we are starting this off obviously with Hulk Hogan. And that's pretty cool. Oh my, I tried to knock Andre down. I have not faced Andre yet in this game. And I tried to knock him down. And he was not having any of that. We got to counter something. There it is, Hulk Hogan. What can we pull here? I got to slam Andre the Giant at some point in this match. Let's see what happens here if we throw Andre into the ropes. On the way back. A hip toss? I don't know if Hogan's ever hip tossed Andre the Giant. I don't know if anybody's ever hip tossed Andre the Giant, but that is not easy whatsoever. Is this the only move he has with this type of grapple? And I think I have my big boot ready. Into the rope goes Andre and a big boot from Hogan. And now it's time for the leg drop. It's time for the leg drop. What is he doing? Oh, I wanted the leg drop. Why is he getting up? We got to cancel this. Or the slam. Actually, that works. Oh, and he puts it into the leg drop. Oh, but he countered. I cannot believe Andre just countered my leg drop. I did not know, though, they were going to turn a slam into the leg drop. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I don't know why I never thought of that. We're going to go to the top rope with Hogan, though. Hogan from the top rope. What's he going to get here? And the flying elbow. We got another big boot ready. Big boot to the face of the giant. And we are looking for the slam and the leg drop now. Get up, Andre. Get up, Andre. Hogan with the slam. And the leg drop will it connect this time. It will into the pin. That should do it. Oh, it's a rope break. We're going to pin him this time. Anticlimactic after the leg drop. And we get the three count. And Hulk Hogan is your winner in the golden era. And for the new generation era, we have Bret the Hitman Hart. And who else? Would Brett face besides Shawn Michaels? And obviously, we had to do this at Survivor Series. The place at the Montreal Screwjob took place. They got to add 1997 Survivor Series to this game. That way, we could have used that. But we use what we have and a scoop slam from Shawn Michaels. And in the corner, Brett just working on Shawn Michaels with repeated kicks to the chest, to the groin area of Shawn Michaels. Let's see what happens if I throw him into the ropes. What can we hit on the way back here? Okay, just run into each other. But a splash right after from Brett. I have to start working on Sean's legs. Okay, a leg drop. That's actually not what I was looking for. I want to work on the legs here of Sean Michaels. That way, when we lock in that sharpshooter, we can get something going. And we still can't work on the legs. How do I work on the legs? I'm going to have to kick his legs one by one at the moment. I don't know how to do any other moves against the legs. I tried a few times. Okay, what was that? Sean is really taking control of this match right now. I have not been able to do anything recently. He's throwing me into the table. Are we going to get counted out right now? That would be absolutely miserable. If we get counted out. Sean, roll in the ring and break it up. I'm not going to get up. I am not going to get up. We're going to get counted out. Oh, Sean, go in the go in the ring. Sean, break up the count. Thank you. Break up the count, please. Come back outside. Thank you. And now we can take back control of this match. All right, Brett. Come on. Let's make him tap out. Let's make him tap out. We got to use the button mashing. Are we going to make him tap? He tapped. Sean Michaels has tapped out to the sharpshooter, rewriting the Montreal screw job. And the hitman gets his revenge at Survivor Series. And now it's time for the Texas Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the Attitude Era at a custom WrestleMania X7 arena. And this is where you can find that WrestleMania X7 custom arena. And who else with Stone Cold Steve Austin face to represent the Attitude Era than the people's champ, The Rock. Austin and The Rock gonna go at it here at WrestleMania X7, just like they did back in 2001. And in my opinion, and I would say a lot of people's opinions, would be that the Attitude Era is the best wrestling era of all time. I really am a big fan of Ruthless Aggression too. That's the one I grew up watching, but I even know that the Attitude Era was just that much better. There is no Ruthless Aggression Era without the Attitude Era. Austin and The Rock, two big pieces in winning that Monday Night War against WCW. Who knows if WWE is even around anymore without these two guys. But right now, Austin, so you can even the pile driver, pile driver to the rock. I was hoping Austin would have a signature. I don't know why signatures are so broken in WWE 2K23. I feel like they never pop up for some reason. We do have a stunner, though. We got to be ready. We got to hit him at the perfect moment. Got to get up, Austin. We have our stunner. Got to counter something. Rock has a rock bottom, though. I got to be careful about that, too. Is he going to lock in the sharpshooter right now? Oh, we got to get out of this. We saw this last time with Brett the Hitman Hard. We don't want to see it with the rock. And we're going to break out of that. We're going to power through. Now we got to work for the perfect moment. 
Perfect moment with some right hands. Finisher, hit the stunner, stunner, stunner. And The Rock would sell that so well if this was a real stunner. Two, and a kick out by The Rock. I knew it was gonna take more than one to get him down. No, belly to belly, suplex right there. I'm just getting ready to counter the finisher so I could steal it from The Rock. Is he gonna go for the people's elbow? When do I counter this? I have no idea. I haven't faced the people's elbow yet. But The Rock gonna throw off the elbow pad. I gotta be ready for a counter. When do I counter? Right there, counter! Get up! Oh, I don't even have a finisher. I thought I was gonna steal it. What? But now I do have the finisher. Get up, Rock! Get up, Rock! It's stunner time! The stunner into the pin! On the Rock! The cover! One! Two! Three! Stone Cold Steve Austin wins the match. And Austin is the king of the Attitude Era. For the Ruthless Aggression Era, it is going to be the under. Taker. And one of The Undertaker's biggest rivals in the Ruthless Aggression era, the Animal Batista. Now, the Ruthless Aggression era was probably the hardest era to actually pick one wrestler here. I was going to go with Cena, but I'm going to use Cena for the PG era up next because he was the most dominant for sure in the PG era. The Ruthless Aggression of guys like Taker, like we're using now, Triple H, Batista, Edge... Kurt Angle, there were so many great ones in the Ruthless Aggression era, I probably missed a few as well. So I'm going to use Cena for PG era, and I decided to give Taker one of these eras, because he was dominant in the Ruthless Aggression era. He had two of the best rivalries with Edge and Batista. We need a prime Undertaker in this game. They have the American Badass from 2003, which I unlocked this Vengeance Arena, but I decided to go with the Phenom Undertaker, but this is like 2018 Undertaker or something like that, so not in his prime. We need like that 2006 to 2008 Undertaker that was unstoppable. 05 as well, and a big boot to Batista. And about the running DDT, that is vintage Undertaker as well. And do we have the flying clothesline? The flying clothesline from The Undertaker. And now we're gonna take Batista to school. Okay, no, we're not. Never mind. Sorry, Batista. This time, we are gonna try to take Batista to school, and we are gonna take him to school. And not just any school. We're taking Batista old school vintage taker. But we're gonna have issues. Hit to the midsection right there. And we have the tombstone ready. Batista, you better not kick out. You better not counter. We're going right into the pin. Looks good, no counter here. Oh, that might be a rope break, doll. Oh, I'm sick if that's a rope break. And it's a rope break. Undertaker from the top rope. With the elbow to the back of the animal. And again, we now have the tombstone. No rope break this time, please. Right into the pin again. If he counters, he doesn't counter. Tombstone pile driver into the pin. Rest in peace, Batista 2. And he kicked out. There's no way he kicked out of two tombstones. We're going right back into the pin. One. No way. This is the last time, Batista. Do not kick out. They say third time's the charm. Will it be? No rope break, please. I don't think it will be. Rest in peace, Batista. And The Undertaker gets the win for the Ruthless Aggression Era. And for the PG Era, I spoiled it a little bit, but who else could it be besides John Cena? And Cena's biggest rival, Randy Orton. So I've unlocked John Cena from 2008, which is perfect. That was the beginning of the PG Era. We're gonna go for a quick pin. I don't think that's gonna do it. I honestly don't even know why I did this, but I have not unlocked 2009 Randy Orton via the showcase, which I believe you do get. So we're using 2023 Randy Orton at the moment. And a nice hip toss from John Cena. And I said Randy Orton is Cena's biggest rival. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. I would say Orton, but honorable mentions to Edge. You have The Rock and you have AJ Styles as well. But we're going to have to get another move on him. Get the charge finisher now. It's attitude adjustment time to Orton into the pin. Will it do it? 1 AA. Will it put Orton away? 2. And he kicks out at 2. We got a 5 knuckle shuffle. It's 5 knuckle shuffle time. Randy Orton, you can't see me. How about a little five knuckle shuffle? And now it's time for the AA. Second AA into the pin. <laughs> Attitude adjustment. Will Orton kick at a two? I don't think so. Two, three, and John Cena is the winner. And Cena, just like he did in just about every single match in the PG era, is the winner. And for the reality era, which I'm not even going to lie, didn't know that was an actual era of WWE, we have a custom Daniel Bryan that I downloaded for this 
match up. And I also had to download a custom CM Punk for this too, because he was also dominant in this reality era that lasts from 2011 to 2016, apparently. If you want to download this Daniel Bryan on PS5, this is how you find it. And this is the CM Punk that I downloaded for this video. So once we realize both of these are custom superstars, let's actually talk about Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. Daniel Bryan dominated the second half of this, obviously with that win at WrestleMania 30, cementing his legacy. And CM Punk dominated the first half of this after his win at Money in the Bank in 2011 over John Cena. Summer of Punk had, what, a 430-day reign or something like that with the WWE Championship. So, I'm gonna go with Daniel Bryan, though, because of that big win at WrestleMania 30 in the main event. We have a signature. What is this? Oh, he's got the yes lock. He has the yes lock. We can't make him tap, though. I have to let him out of this. He's actually doing pretty well. I'm just going to let him out. I can't let him tap. We got to hit the running knee. Whatever we have, I have no idea. Do we have stamina? Come on. Okay, that's not our finisher. How do I trigger a finisher? I got to look it up. Okay, so it's a running in Siguri. I just looked up what the finisher is for this custom Daniel Bryan. I need Punk in the corner and a running in Siguri to the face of CM Punk. And we have two. Let's go for another one. Let's do one more for good measure. We don't have the running knee, but we have the running in Siguri. And another one to Punk, and he's down. And that should be done. Two finishers should be good night for CM Punk. One, two, and he kicked out. Very close to getting another finisher, though, but Punk's going to counter that. We have not taken a lot of damage at all. With Dale Bryan and another kick to the head of Punk. And now we can set him back up in the corner for the running in Sakuri. Oh, he countered it. Are you serious? I was trying to go for third time's a charm. I'm just ending this. Forget it. I'm at the top rope. We're going to connect with something here. Flying elbow to the back of Punk. And end this match, Daniel Bryan. One, two, three. And Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson gets the win here in the reality era. And the Tribal Chief will represent the current era of WWE, the new era. And Reigns will face his shield brother, Seth freaking Rollins. And will this be the main event of WrestleMania 40? Rollins wants it. Reigns wants it. Will this be the main event of WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia? There's a good chance. I would say these guys are 1-2 right now in the WWE. Maybe 1-3 and three if you consider Cody Rhodes 2 right now over Seth Rollins. But Seth deserves a main event shot at WrestleMania. He had one technically in WrestleMania 31 with the Money in the Bank cash in, but he's never had an actual one-on-one -on -one main event match, and I think he deserved one. To counter this, good move by Reigns to counter, clothesline, and we have our spear. Or the Superman punch. It's Superman punch time to Rollins. Don't counter it, Seth. You're going down. And now to the corner. We have two spears ready to go. And the tribal chief is looking to put this one away early for the bloodline and the spear to Seth Rollins. We're going to go for the combo here. Superman punch to end it into the spear. Hopefully connects into the pin. Will he put him away? Roman, one, two, and he kicked out. That's unreal. Another move or two. We should be able to get our finisher. One more. I'm throwing him into the corner. I'm going for that Superman punch spear combo again. No way he's kicking out this time. He had a couple left. A couple rights to get the finisher. We have it. Toss him into the corner. And this time he's not kicking out. Superman punch connects. And a spear to Rollins. If he kicks out, I'm uninstalling this game. Come on, Reigns. One, two, three. Three, acknowledge the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, with the win. And Roman Reigns ends this video with a victory. And if you all enjoyed that video, I am confident that you will like either of these two videos down below. And make sure to subscribe for more content.